In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone, and happy Easter from the Cathedral of St. Jude the Apostle in St. Petersburg. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Easter Mass, let us call to mind our sins, remembering that Jesus Christ died and rose for the forgiveness of sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good in healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, Mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The Lord's right hand has struck with power. The Lord's right hand is exalted. I shall not die but live 
and declare the works of the Lord. This is a day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is a day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciples went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciples ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, I join the priests here at the Cathedral of St. Jude in wishing you and your loved ones a very happy and blessed Easter. The message of Easter is one of love and one of hope. We read in the Gospel according to John in chapter 3, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that all who believe in him may not perish, but might have eternal life. God's love for you and for me is so great that he wanted nothing to ever separate us from his love, whether it be sin 
or loneliness. He wants to be with us and wants to have a personal relationship with us. It is also today a message of hope that there is never any darkness in the world or in our lives which the light of Jesus Christ cannot overcome. We think back to just a couple days ago, to the darkness of Good Friday. And yet here we are on this beautiful Sunday morning, this Easter Sunday morning, to celebrate God's love for us. I know that this is a very unusual time for all of us in dealing with the current health crisis that we're facing. I know that many are suffering during this time as well, suffering from illness, suffering from financial hardship, perhaps because of the loss of a job or reduced income, suffering from loneliness and isolation. The hope that we have today is that we are never, ever alone in our lives, that God is always with us. And no matter what difficulties, what anxieties, what fears we may be dealing with at this time, that Jesus Christ will lift us from those. As we have shared in his sufferings, and as we do so, we have been promised that we will also share in his glory. Dear brothers and sisters, on this Easter Sunday, may our hearts be filled with joy and with gratitude of what the Lord has done for us. And may we live this day and each day as an Easter people singing Alleluia. Amen. My dear friends, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, and invite you to respond at home. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried? rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. See who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Yes. Deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that, renewed by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia.